Welcome everybody to this week's community meeting. It is the 24th of April, 2024. I hope you're all doing super well. Um, if there is anyone here who would like to introduce themselves, um, please uh, drop a little, yes, please, uh, in the chat uh, and we'll come back to you uh, before we hit the agenda. And you can say, say good day and who you are and, and what you're doing here and what you hope to get out of this meeting. We have a schedule to check in. All right, where are we up to? It was the 24th of April, so we've got nothing. Kubernetes did go out um, last week. The Ubernetes release, I think they build it as. Um, and yeah, we've got an alpha tag coming. What's that in a week and a half time, two weeks time? But we may as well point out, as we like to do, 12th of June is our feature freeze with a GA of the 3rd of July. Uh, always good to keep in mind. Our upcoming CFP check-in. This has just closed, DevConf US 2024, so hopefully those who were interested um, managed to get their CFP in. Still open is... KubeCon Cloud Native Con China 2024. Um, that is open until May the 5th. KubeCon Summit we'll talk about in just a second. And KubeCon North America, uh, CFP is open until June 9. Um, as always, I am available for if you've got an idea and aren't sure what merits it has, um, or if you've got a submission that you'd like to review, please hit me up. I'd love to have a look at it and provide any relevant feedback, hopefully. Um, hopefully everyone saw my email. Oh, I haven't checked. Uh, okay. No one would like to infuse themselves. Um, that's cool. If you change your mind, um, we'll probably, oh yeah, yeah. We'll probably, um, come back to you if you like. Hopefully everyone saw my email last week about adding a passcode. This is to prevent, um, annoying bots from joining the meeting and making a transcript of what we say. It will be 77777. It's the same as all of the Kubernetes meetings, as far as I know. Um, and we'll put that into place starting on the 15th of May. Uh, another uh, change, I'll scroll up. Burr, 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 burr. So I've, I've mentioned this before, I didn't get any takers. Um, so now it's more of a, perhaps if you're sprung by inspiration, um, you can just come to this meeting and add a topic you might like to demo, something you're working on or have recently completed, or if you'd like to request um, something, something you don't fully understand that you've seen recently, and you'd like someone to take five, 10 minutes to explain it, um, I think that would be a good use of this meeting. And this is an idea that I shamelessly ripped off the SIG storage team. Um, so thank you, SIG storage. Um, yeah, and, and anyone can add to this. Uh, if you're a member of Qvert Dev, you can add your name here. And it would be really good to have one of these every, maybe every two weeks. Uh, Qvert Summit. Um, the CFP closes the 20th of May, so what's that, four weeks time. Um, I have a website link and a tweet to share and repost. It would be really great if, uh, I mean, everyone present in this meeting is a heavy contributor to the project. Really great to see submissions on, um, on what you're working on to share with the community uh, for that. And also if anyone's watching the YouTube recording and you are one of our uh, end users, we'd really like to hear some of our end user journeys so that um, uh, we can, uh, you can help other users understand what it takes to implement Qvert in a production environment. Um, because we get a lot of these questions at, at KubeCon and other such conferences, and um, it would be much better to have these uh, have these videos that we can point people towards. Um, got two things on the open floor. Uh, they're both design proposals, so I'll be relatively quick on them.
Do we have Lee Yawood here? We do not. Um, it is a draft. Oh, it's very new. Uh, and unsurprisingly, coming from Lee, it is about instant types. Uh, so that's there. So if you um, have a slow Friday and you'd like to review some uh, new design proposal, by all means, jump into that one. We've also got something which is a, a bit of a continuation um, from the uh, SIGs changes uh, thread and um, to our community. This one's from Fabian about a change that affects pretty much all of us, um, how we actually propose our design proposals. So this is to create a new repo um, that then gets tied into the, the um, SIGs, uh, those who are responsible for each of those SIGs, uh, so that then becomes the responsibility of those SIGs. And they basically um, assure the community that this is under control and does have a um, future caretakers. So please add your thoughts to that. Like I said, it does affect everyone here. Moving right along. And as always, if you've got anything that you'd like to add, please do. And if we don't hit it up before we finish the meeting, uh, just yell out and we'll, we'll cover it before we finish. Hey, can you hear me? Hello, Sue. Sorry, I tried to unmute a second ago and I got some weird dialogue about it. You leave the meeting, I don't know. Um, so I, I, I'm all for more formality around the design proposal process, but do we have any insight into why a separate repo is needed? What was the purpose? I think part of it, uh, so uh, I don't know if Fabian's here to answer more specifically, um, but I do know that if, um, there's been, I guess, a, an inefficiency with regards to it being in the community repo, which has a very small amount of reviewers and approvers. Uh, and for instance, I'm one of the approvers, but I have to basically wait to see that this has been approved by people that understand what design proposals is about on a technical level. So I have the rights to approve it, but um, it should belong more with the people who are getting into the nitty gritty of what this is about and whether it's a good idea for the project. Perfect. I, I think you. that's my understanding. You're welcome. That makes sense. Which one am I? Mute or unmute? Okay. Uh, yeah. Do we have any other questions, concerns, or comments? Okay. Uh, apologies if I'm talking fast. Uh, when we have these short agenda meetings, I do try and uh, get them done to return time to everyone's day. Um, this is uh, one of my ways of appreciating everyone coming together here for these meetings. Um, triaging the pull requests. I saw that nothing really needed attention. So thank you very much for everyone who, um, who enables me to say that. Thank you very much. Mailing list. Uh, two things. We talked about this last week. I think this is the more formal follow-up. Uh, did I see? See, Felix, did you want to quickly say something about this since you're here? Hi. Um, I just need to rebase it and sign it, I believe. Um, I know that it is uh, preferred to have the mitts squashed as well, um, but let me know you know, if you feel that's necessary. So thank you. Thank you. I think, uh, yeah, I, me personally, I'm a big fan of the um, squash commits. I think it's uh, really helpful, especially in the larger uh, repos. Um, anyone's free to chime in here and say, oh, I don't think it's that important. I'm, I'm fine either way. If I have to sign it, I have to, you know, force something through anyway, if I have to sign all three. So it's actually easier to do the squash and then the signing as opposed to um, sign everything and then squash it. Yep. 
Sounds good. Uh, yeah, that's a head squash. It's cleaner. Cleaner's always better. And the follow-up, did I see Brian here? I see him here. I don't hear him here. Yeah, this is just a, a proposal just to kind of speed up feedback for some contributors to Kubert Kubert. So this is just split out the, the C compute laying out to, uh, or split out the serial test out from the C compute lane. Uh, the serial tests take about two hours, so it adds a lot of time to the lane. So just splitting the lane would hopefully provide quicker feedback uh, on PRs. So that's the main aim of this. Thank you very much. And it is also a request for comment. We have a couple of bugs to have a quick look at. Have a look. All right, this is a problem uh, with the liveness readiness probe and the exec commands if it boots with a data volume. Uh, now I'm not entirely sure if this falls to the uh, SIG storage team, whether it's an issue with the probes. Does anyone here feel confident that they might know what's happening in this? Or would like to volunteer someone who is not present at the meeting? It looks storage related. Maybe Alexander Wells. Alexander Wells is not here. Yeah. Sorry, Alexander. <laughs> and, <laughs> but and, no, really. And thank a, you. Yeah. Thank you, Alexander. Um. So, with with regard to the new. Uh, changes with the SIG stuff. I'm pretty sure the SIG storage charter has been approved, um, which means that if we just tag this as SIG storage, would that alert the group of appropriate people rather than tagging one specific person? That's a fantastic idea. Let's see. Uh, that would then be is that how we do it I think so trial and error right <laughs> Is there a way we can see if that? All right, I'll see if I can remember to follow up with them to find out if they get pinged about that. We have one more bug. Let me just see if anyone's commented. They have not. So this is extremely fresh, um, but it is an issue with uh, 1.2 working with Kubernetes 1.2.8. The launcher. Oh, 
right. Stu, you strike me as a vert launcher kind of a guy. Oh, it's a vert launcher monitor. Yeah, it says that it failed this run vert launcher. Is that what it says? Correct. It, it seems like this is a, some kind of a security issue. I mean, I, I would say that this is a, not to say Linux, but maybe a Palmer or something like that. I don't know. Like SECs or something. Hmm. All right. Hey, can we ask Lubo to take a look at that? I don't hear any dissent from Lubo. <laughs> he's probably not here, poor guy. I see his name. You have three seconds to comply. No, uh, go ahead. Thank you, Lubo. And this isn't a bug. This is a celebration for we have a fix of a flaky test. And Federico is here. Um, Federico, do you mind just having a quick um, spiel about what it is that you've done here? Oh yeah, well, it's uh, quite self-explanatory. Uh, basically, we were overriding uh, the same variable and this uh, causes uh, some subsequent failures uh, in case the first one uh, get request uh, fails, it's yeah, it's uh, more easy to read than uh, uh, explain. Awesome, thank you very much. Thank you. And let me just check to make sure nothing has snuck onto the agenda, and it has not, which means. Um, I'll have a last call out to see if anyone would like to bring anything up, ask any questions, uh, make any comments. Cool, all right. Well, thank you very much uh, for all attending and for pitching in on all this stuff. It is greatly appreciated. Um, hope to see you all next week. Until then, have a lovely day, weekend, and uh, whatever else you get up to. Cheers. Bye. Thanks. So. Ciao. Bye. -bye. Thanks.